Hello, in this video, I am going to show you direct memory addressing. We've already got this example, which is included with rextester.com, and something along the lines of this will be included with most applications or websites that you use. So, direct memory addressing is when you have a variable like so, which has the text hello world, and if we run it, it gets printed out because We've set the accumulator register to say some some sort of you know writing is going to go on. The EBX register is set to standard output. ECX is set to the offset of hello. This is what we're going to get to in a second. And EDX is set to the lamp. So if we want to change this to a lower number, then we would actually only get part of the string. But what we are doing here is we are specifying hello. A hello there will be a memory location. So imagine if it's memory location 50, for example. And that memory location will be passed into the ECX. You'll get the value at memory location 50, which in this case happens to be the string hello world exclamation mark. And that's what gets printed out. So that's all direct memory addressing is. It's when you have a variable, you specify it for, you know, for some purpose, and it gets the memory address of that, it looks to the memory address and gets the value. We don't need to worry about how that really works. It's obviously good if you understand it. I've done a brief explanation, but if you want to know more, you know, feel free to obviously have a look at it online or ask me any questions that you may ha have. That's really it. That's all you need to know about direct memory addressing. And like I said, any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And if not, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.